Frankie's Ball Grease is official. For you ladies and gentlemen who are unfamiliar, I launched some cosmetic and hygiene products last December and several months ago I made a video speaking about how I was rubbing vitamin D3 on you know where and it boosted my testosterone drastically. My goal with Frankie's Naturals is to provide you guys with minimal ingredients, minimally processed, low temperature hygiene and cosmetic products devoid of negative substances that plague our modern society today. This is ranging from things like fluoride free tooth powder, aka toothpaste. We have aluminum free deodorant. I'm making a lip balm with minimal ingredients. Uh, we have, of course, the ball grease and ball cream, uh, which are moisturizing creams that have vitamin D3 in them. So not only are you moisturizing your skin, you're getting your daily dose of vitamin D3. We have a hair pomade for our gentlemen who want to look slick like, uh, I guess Mr. Cement Rick over here. And I have recently added African black soap as it fits in line with all of our beliefs. So let me take you guys through every single one of our products, how I use them, and how long they last. If you guys do want to check out these products, they will be on frankiesnaturals.com. Of course, we have to start with the ball grease, aka moisturizing cream. I have two formulas. One is a lavender scented one with less moisture, therefore it is more greasy. And here we have an unscented one with a higher water content. This is more of a cream. Both of them contain vitamin D3 and the same ingredients. So we have grass-fed beef tallow, shea butter, emu oil, vitamin D3. The scented one has lavender oil. What I use this for is, of course, vitamin D3 and a moisturizer. I mean, my feet tend to get dry. Sometimes my elbows get dry. But I don't usually have too many issues with dry skin. Uh, it's great for helping your wounds heal too if you have some like really dry cracked skin. And what I like about this so much is vitamin D3 enables your skin to tan better. So I actually rub this on my feet and I get a really even tan. I know it sounds kind of silly, but before I started using this cream, I never had you know, an even tan on my feet. You know, I always had duck feet. And as you guys can see, you know, the entire Roman statue is cast out of bronze. I don't have white feet anymore. You know, my feet aren't marble. They are bronze as well. So if you, ladies and gentlemen, have had a hard time tanning your hands, your face, your neck, any part of your body is difficult to tan, I really suggest trying this as it's the only thing that's really worked for me. I used to use regular moisturizing cream, but the vitamin D3 seems to activate the melanin receptors in your skin, allowing you to tan easier. There are three main differences between the grease and the cream. This has a lower moisture content. It's better for people with drier skin. The grease is lavender scented. So if you want something that smells good or something for the ladies, I mean, this smells good on its own. It's just not as aromatic. And the vitamin D3 content is fourfold in the ball grease. So this has 280,000 international units of vitamin D3. And this has 75,000 international units of vitamin D3. This is intended to be used on a monthly basis. Or if you're deficient in vitamin D3, you could use this in a week and a half, two weeks. This can be used every single week. Like one container of this every week. And... Basically, you want to be getting anywhere from 7,500 to 10,000 IU of vitamin D3 per day. And since the absorption rate isn't 100%, there's a lot of leeway with these creams. So you're getting a decent amount of vitamin D3 every day. But depending on how much moisturizing cream you use, you have two options. You could go with a small amount on your private area or you could lather your whole self up with some uh, moisturizing cream. And if you guys are wondering why... There's some cream on the lid here. I tried to squeeze as much in here for you guys as I could. So a, a little bit of it gets stuck to the top of the container. It's either give you guys like uh, like 0.1 of an ounce less or uh, just have it get stuck to the top. And I'd rather give you guys some more product. 
In regards to how these are labeled, they do have moisturizing cream on them. The ball grease has a drastically different color, but they will not be differentiated outside of the difference in the label. So as you can see, the ball grease has a bit darker of a label and the moisturizing cream has a bit larger of a label. But you can tell the difference very easily by the color and by the smell. You know, obviously this is lavender scented, this is unscented, it's a bit darker in color. As you guys can imagine, the application is fairly simple. I just wanted to show you guys the texture of this. So, this is the grease. You know, it's definitely much more spreadable. You can take a very small amount and spread it over a very large area. You only need a very tiny bit. And then since the cream does have a higher moisture content, you know, you would use a little more of it. And you guys might also notice a little bit of water separation on the cream. This is because this cream is made with a natural emulsion of beeswax. Uh, if I was to use like soy lecithin or some type of emulsifier additive, it would compromise the integrity of my product. So I'd rather have a little bit of water and moisture separation. And you might even notice when you press the cream into your skin, a little bit more moisture comes out. And this is completely normal. A lot of you guys ask me, how do I get my teeth so white? And the answer is, I brush and floss my teeth after every single meal. But I do use my own tooth formulation. So this is a powder. It's made with clay, baking soda, and essential oils. Three ingredients, very minimal. The reason it's a powder is because if this was made into a paste, it would become perishable and I'd have to add more ingredients to it. So on the label, it does say tooth powder. And as you can imagine, when we open this up, we have a white powder. And this is very easy to use. All you do is you take a toothbrush, you, you wet the tip of the toothbrush, and you dip it into the powder. You just dab it in lightly. And then you get a little bit of powder on the toothbrush. And then you can brush your teeth with or without more water. Peppermint oil is the main essential oil in this tooth powder. It really aromatizes your mouth and gives you a super fresh breath. And this is more effective than any single toothpaste I've used. Of course, a toothpaste tends to taste sweet and it might be a little more approachable to kids because of the sugar and stuff they put in the toothpaste, but this will leave your breath smelling better. And of course, you don't have to worry about fluoride or you know, spending $7 on a tube of that crappy fluoride-free toothpaste that doesn't actually clean your teeth. And also in the future, I might have some sort of like remineralizing tooth formula that I'm working on. But in the meantime, this is what I use to clean my teeth. This one container would probably last me a month, a month and a half. And this is the same thing with all of my products. They last a very long time for what you're getting. And not only can I use this to brush my teeth, what I do is I take a little bit of it and I'll put it in a glass. So I put a little bit in the glass, add some water to it, stir it up. And then I have a mouthwash. I don't usually do that because I can just take the powder in my mouth after I brush my teeth and swish around some water. But if you want to mouthwash separately, this works very well too. One of the first products I formulated was my deodorant because I couldn't find any affordable or good aluminum free deodorants. And aluminum can leach from the deodorant into your skin, cause toxicity issues. But this deodorant that I formulated is incredibly effective. Uh, Frankie's Naturals has been running kind of unofficially for several months and I've sold about a few hundred of these so far and every single person has loved the deodorant and this lasts a ridiculous amount of time. You know, this two ounces of deodorant, uh, I'm about a third of the way through my own container and it's been a month. So keep in mind guys, you're not buying a stick of deodorant that you're going to be done with in like two or three weeks. These products last longer than conventional products. So even though you're paying a little bit more than the cheapest grocery price, you're actually getting more bang for your buck due to how long it lasts. And this is really simple. You just take a very tiny amount. 
So you want to take a very small amount, like, like that much, and then just rub it into your skin. Just nice thin layer. And you could add a bit more. Uh, if you really want to like put a bit more than that on, maybe like, you know, two or three times that amount. And this will make you smell good for like two or three days. Uh, I've had periods of time where, you know, I've had to travel or go somewhere and didn't have access to a shower for a period of a few days. And this deodorant, you know, will last 24 to 48 hours, you know, even if you're sweating. You just have to put on a little bit more based on your activity level uh, so you can taper that. You know, if you're showering once a day, once every two days, you can use a very small amount. But if you're sweating a lot, if you're exercising, if you're doing like endurance training, then definitely put a little bit more on. The ingredients in this deodorant are shea butter, arrowroot starch, baking soda, and essential oils. Again, sticking true to minimal ingredients. Guys, I really haven't seen products with as few ingredients on the market in any of these regards. You know, I'm using two, three, four ingredients in every single product. And now we have the first product I ever made, which was my lip balm. And again, this ties into every single lip balm in the store had like 10, 15, 20 ingredients in it, and they were pretty expensive. My lip balm has three ingredients, grass-fed beef tallow, beeswax, and essential oils. We have the cute little, you know, Frankie's Naturals logo. There you go. And this lasts way too long. I've never actually gotten through a stick of this lip balm. I would say between three and six months depending on how much you rub on. And when you guys see me putting on lipstick as a joke in the intro of my videos, this is actually what I'm using. This is incredibly effective. And I've always had dry lips, especially in the winter. And even in the summer, I use this multiple times per day. I carry it around with me. It is spearmint scented. So it's not as pungent as the peppermint that's in the tooth powder, but it's still nice and pleasant and you know, it doesn't like smell like beef fat at all. This is just a mild peppermint smell. It's like you want to eat it. You know what's funny? Uh, I had a, one of my customers was actually eating my products because they smelled so good he wanted to eat them. And yes, you could actually eat my products, although I don't think it's I mean, it might be actually be pretty good for you nutritionally considering the ingredients I'm putting in these products. But guys, please don't eat the products even though the ingredient quality is so high and minimal that they are good enough to eat. All right, boys and girls, little change of scenery for any of you gentlemen that have used hair pomade or style your hair frequently. You know that your hair needs to be wet. And yes, you don't have to be in the shower to do this. You could just wet your hair and put this in that way with a sink. But for me, it's easier to do it in the shower. My hair pomade has shea butter, clay, beeswax, jojoba oil, sandalwood oil for scent. Gives it a very, it's like a very masculine aroma. And out of all the products I've made, the pomade, I spent so much time developing it and it was the one that I needed the most because the pomade options, these hair products are so expensive and they're full of so many crappy ingredients, chemicals. There are no natural hair pomade products on the market right now. So let me show you guys how I apply this. This is so cold. You guys, you guys don't pay me enough to see the, the full view. Maybe in the future when Frankie's not driving like a 2003 Taurus, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, so all I do is I get my hair wet. After my hair is wet, I take a little bit of the pomade out. Maybe like this much. And I rub it very evenly between my hands. You want to make sure your hands are a little wet too. So like, I run my hands under the hot water until I have like an even coat of it on my hands. And then I just run my hands through my hair and get it applied evenly.
Then as soon as my hands are dry, I'll do that one more time. So I'll take a little more pomade. I'll rub it between my hands again. And then put more on my hair. And you would do this until the desired hold is reached. So if you do it once, it's like a light hold. If you do it twice, it's a medium hold. And like three to four times would be like a super hold. So now I just take my comb, comb my hair back, and then I'll let my hair dry. So whether you want to look like Slick Rick, Mr. Cement, you now have a natural option to do so. <laughs> there we go guys. Our final product is African Black Soap. And with so many people asking me for soap and how difficult soap is to make, I decided to get you guys an option that I personally use which contains uh, coconut shell powder, plantain extract, coconut oil, shea butter, water, and palm oil. Uh, this soap is essentially what I would make. So when I found out about African black soap, I was like, this is perfect. You know, I don't have to make my own soap. And you know, it smells great. It's a super high quality product. It works really well. It lasts a long time. The only downside to African black soap is what it looks like if you drop it on the floor of your shower. So if you guys are living with someone else for that matter, don't leave it on the floor of the shower if you catch my drift. I had a pretty phony moment uh, because I, I gave my sister some of this to try and after she took a shower, some of it was on the floor and my mother was freaking out at her. Uh, but the way I do this is you know, I usually, I usually rub it on a loofah or I, I put it in the loofah itself and then I just wash myself with it and this, and, and like I rub a little bit on the loofah and this lathers up really well. You know, it's just like regular soap. You know, you're not going to be walking around like any of the, the stinky raw primal dieters, you know who I'm talking about. So if you guys want a natural soap that works really well. This is a great option. All right, boys and girls, that's enough for the shower scene. If you guys want to see round two of the shower scene, definitely be sure to like the video and leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. As I mentioned earlier, we've been operating for a couple months. We've had several hundred customers. Now we are officially full blast looking to add things like shampoo and a bunch of other products in the near future. So go to frankiesnaturals.com if you would like to read a little bit more about each of our products. Guys, please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon and share it if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, just check out some of the other videos on my channel. I've also recently launched Frankie's Free Range Meat. So if you guys would like high quality, nutrient dense animal foods delivered straight to your door, grass fed, free range, pasture raised, check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Again, thank you guys for joining me today and enjoy the rest of your week.